What's going on there, everybody, and welcome back to some more trucking with iVision. We are here. I got our load all ready to go. We're headed up to Sterling today. Uh, so a short little run, about 147 miles, so super short. Uh, but going from Fort Collins here to Sterling. Uh, we were kind of we kind of did Denver here, went into Fort Collins. Now we're going to go over to Sterling, and then hopefully kind of work our way back down and up and around here. That's kind of my goal, probably come down this way and around, and then maybe back up, and then kind of finish in Colorado Springs. We'll see, though. We'll see what happens. But 147 miles, like I said, just under three hours. Let's, uh, yeah. They've got a load of fruits here from the farm. I like this trailer, though. I like the, the triple axles there. I love it. So, good trailer. Looks good with the truck. All right, yep, we're going to take your product. Thank you. Or maybe your customers, I'm not really sure. Not really sure, but thank you. Nice greenhouses. Yep. Very nice. So, woof. We'll see. So it's 1.30 roughly now. So hopefully by... Mm, we, I would say 4.30, right? We should be in our destination. We'll just call it 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock is when we'd like to be there. Doing our thing. There's the truck and the trailer. And look at that nice fancy car back there. Nice. Getting it washed. Looking good. Oh, yeah, it looks real nice. It's kind of a good thing that there's never, like, any other traffic coming down here, right? It's always just you. I just love this trailer. Love it. It's looking beautiful. All right, let's go. We're going this way. No traffic out of front. Ooh, they were uh, doing some water in there. Doing some watering. And then I've come to realize also <clears throat> that I am not the only person that drives bad outside the cab in this game. I'm not. I don't know what it is. It's just different. It's much different. You know, you can drive like a pro inside, but as soon as you get outside, it's just, I don't know what it is. And I'm not going to lie, uh, when I played 18 Wheels of Steel... Like, I was always outside the cab in that one. All the time. It's the only way I drove. So, I don't know what it is, honestly. Not sure what it is. Whoa, hello. What that person got in their trailer there? What is that? A little generator of sorts? <clears throat> Not really sure. <clears throat> Not really sure. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We are hitting the city limits with an elevation of just under 5,000 feet. Isn't that crazy? 5,000 feet. 5,000. There we are. Look at that. Good old stuff. There's a little, little mill over there. Steel. It said steel. It looks like wood chips, though. Definitely looks like wood chips. Oh, well. What do you gotta do? We're just gonna hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. And we ain't gonna look back. There we are. Good old bridges and towns. And, oh, yeah. It's so nice there. Whoop. Getting a little close to the... The side there. The railroad tracks. Whoop, yep. Here we are, we're turning here. There's the truck, the trailer, the lights are all working, which is beautiful. Hopefully we get the turn signal. Oh, train's coming. There's a train coming there, somewhere. Not really sure where. There's the arrow for, so we won't even get to see it. What a shame. Maybe we will. Oh, yeah, we will, because it's also over here. So we will get to see it. Maybe it'll come on this side first. Interesting. Oh, there it is. Holy cow, where it came out of nowhere. That legitimately came out of nowhere. We just looked at it on the other side. Didn't even see it. Oh, that's just crazy. That is craziness. All right, whatever. Doesn't matter. The gates are up. And we're out of here. 
We are out of Fort Collins. That's it. It's costing us time. It's just costing us money. We don't have that. We don't have time nor money. There's the farmer's barn. There's a garage. I'm pretty sure we... I don't know. We didn't buy that one. We bought the one in Denver, I believe. Yeah. We bought the one in Denver. This is kind of a nice area, though. Can I just sit and overlook there? It's really nice. Oh, we could have went down the other road. Why did it send us this way, then? Hmm, whatever. Frustrating. The GPS can be so frustrating in this game at times. I mean, it's just like, you know what, though? It's just like a normal GPS. Because there's times where, you know, like, you put, put where you want to go in, and, you know, and you got, like, Apple Maps or Google Maps, and they're just like, go this way. And you're like, no, I want to go this way. And it's like, ah, oh, make a U-turn. And you're like, no, 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 we're going to go this way. You'll figure it out, right? You know? Like, there's always that one road where you're just like, I want to go this way. And it's like, no, you should go that way. Come on. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, let's go. Let's get trucking. And trucking and trucking. Around the bend. Oh, too far. Too far. We didn't want to go that far there. We are taking 25. 25. Looks like we gotta go down and then back. Interesting. Interesting. We're going towards Denver. I guess I do recall that. Like, we could have went straight. It looks like... Well, no, we couldn't have. Yeah, no, we couldn't have. I was like, I think it could get us on, but no, no. I'm just looking at it all funky. Alright, and we're going to have to stop for weight scales. Oh, we can bypass. Nice. It's going to allow us to bypass the weight station. Suckers. See you later. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of a really sh janky uh, way station, but I guess it doesn't need to be fancy. What is going on? Are those birds? What? Yep, they are birds. Birds up there. Like, what are those things? We've got birds. Mm-hmm. So, um, I've been, honestly, I've been doing a lot of flight sim lately. Like, just me and myself, I'm, like, really trying to get in, like, get it going. And, like, land and all that fun JNC stuff. And I want to do it, obviously, with the big, the big kahunis. Right? Like, I mean, it's neat taking the little small plane and kind of seeing what's around and sightseeing. But I like taking the jets and doing the long haul flights. You know, and by long haul, I'm talking like an hour, hour flight here. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, but so I want to try and get good at that. So I don't know. I might do a video on that. I'm kind of, you know, I'm trying to dabble in some other areas. You know, see what you guys think, what you guys like. Obviously, though, I don't know what I'm really doing. So it's, uh, I don't know. It's tough, right? That's a very strongly community is how I'm gonna call it you know like they, they're passionate very passionate so and then you got Joe Schmo here who's like oh let's just do this or let's hey let's do that yeah that's that would be me I'd be Joe Schmo yes I would cuz I'd be like ah, not really sure like the other night I was flying and I missed the ILS and I ended up taking over, but I flew over the airport and then kind of did like this big old circle because I didn't know what I was doing. I just knew like, hey, if I get onto these lines, I can probably get this thing down. Uh, and so that's what I did. I know I probably would not hear the end of it uh, for that, but you know, whatever. So yeah, I've been, I don't know, I just like been doing more trucking, flight sim stuff, just like more relaxing stuff. It's just been nice and peaceful. And I've been enjoying it. And I think, honestly, it's been helping me sleep by doing this type of stuff. You know, just kind of just going out, having a good old drive or a good old flight. And it's just been, it's been really nice. It's different. Oh, come on. We got stuck behind Mr. Kilm here. Or K-L-L-M. Klim? Klim. Call him Mr. Klim. What are you doing, Mr. Klim? What are you doing? All right. Here we go. 
Look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, we gotta get her up to speed. Let's see, we should only have about 70 more miles, if that even, honestly. Oh, I lied. We've got 100 miles almost. Ooh. It's going on through. I guess I guess it will be around that 4.35 o'clock time slot, though. So, was not wrong about that. There's some cows. Come on, baby. You can do it. You know you want to get what it's not. What are we? 33,000 pounds. Like, 34, let's call it. Like you can do it. You can do it. Oh, there's more... Uh, more field watering going on here. Oh, crop circles. We got crop circles. Kind of looks like a soccer field, the noise. Oh, we got crop circles there. All right, just making sure we're not getting off here. Any of those spots. That would have been would have been bad. Here we go, though. There's a ton of tractors just up against the, the road fence here. Just crazy. This kind of makes sense, right? You know, park your truck up and, you know, when you're done for the day, good to go. All right, so we're not getting off, so that means we're still following Mr. Trucky here. Hmm, we could I guess we could have went around if we wanted to try and bypass this Yahoo here. It's a very interesting area down there, whatever that is. Looks like, looks like a little rest area there, a fancy one. It's a big one. Holy cow. It's very interesting how they did this road. <laughs> very interesting. All right, here we go. So we, it's like the rest area merges on to us, and then we merge on to the main highway. And it's like, oh, no. Oh, come on, Joe. Ay, ay, ay. If you didn't slow down so much, I wish they would make those on ramps just a little bit longer in this game. Like just a hair longer. That's all I'm asking for. Because I really think that's what we need it. Like we shouldn't be coming to, to stops here. That's just outrageous. That is just outrageous. Now we gotta get back up to speed. Commercial vehicles. Or emergency vehicles. Emergency vehicles. Not commercial. There's some traffic. Way station. We got another way station coming up here. There's a ton in uh, Colorado. Holy cow. I feel like there's been a ton in this whole region. You know, Colorado, Utah. Just a ton. Let's see. Pull in. We got like the last one. They're like, nah, you're good. This one, they're like, uh-uh. We know you got something suspicious in there now. Party, did that say party flavor ways chips? I think it did. I really think it did. All right. Loaded. Well, we're empty. We are empty, so we should be able to go to the left side, right? Stop at the truck scale. Oh, we will. Don't worry. 69,509 pounds. What can I say? Really, the only thing that they really hit you with at the scales here that I've noticed is if your truck is damaged. I think you get fined for that. Otherwise, I think it's all it's all good. Nothing to worry about. All right, we're gonna get over. Sorry, bro. Oh my God, dude. What? He, he ran into me. That was some malarkey. That was some straight malarkey. He ran into me. And you all saw that. You all saw. He could have gotten over on top of it. Did he damage my trailer? No, it doesn't look like it. Thank you, at least for that. Thank you for that. All right. Whoa. It's got a oof, big gust of wind there. Big gust of wind on the bridge. Oh. So this is the last video that I'm doing before, or at least recording, uh, before I go on like a week-long trip. I wouldn't call it a trip, work, work, work trip. It's, uh, it's not full, you know, it's five days, so I guess you can call it week-long. 
but I'm just I'm not excited for it at all. Oh, I'm really not. But gotta do what we gotta do, right? Sterling, one mile. That's what it said there, so. Got Sterling coming up. So yeah, I'm kind of uh, So I'm flying to the East Coast, and then I'm there for all five days. But I'm going into one south city, and then we're getting bus to another city like a couple days later. And I'm just like, oh my god! And then we're flying, flying back. It's just like, oof. I have zero ambition for it at this point, which is sad. I used to love uh, work road trips. Because back, back in when I first started doing what I was doing, it used to actually be just like road trips, like driving on buses. But now it's uh, now we fly everywhere, for the most part. But this year's created some unique challenges, and one of those challenges has been more bus trips again. But I don't know, I just don't. I don't like being on the road as much as I, used, as I once loved. I used to love being on the road all the time for work. Now I'm just kind of like, eh, I'm over it. it. Gets old after a while. Constantly being gone on weekends, holidays. But, and I'm just, I don't know, this year it's just, it's been so different with the, with the whole pandemic. I just don't want to be on the road for five days, five straight days. You know, it's just, oof. Not, not for me, not for me. But anyhow, we gotta get going. We gotta get trucking, right? Go get trucking. And I do like that port, though. Like, while I'm out in the road, like, I get to see, like, all the different tr uh, trucks and, and loads and stuff. So, like, that's kind of neat. I do like that. So, there are some pros and cons. Pros and cons. There's some fuel there. I don't even know what we got for fuel. It's behind the steering wheel here. Uh, let's see if we can... Oh, yeah, just over half a tank there. So, we are good. It's on the left side. Left side there, we are good. What's up, dude? Nice car, nice ride. Oh, looks like he must got have a. Is that a stick? Maybe he had his hand in his lap, or next to it. Like it could have been, could have been a stick. Most likely not though. All right, there's Sterling there. It's 5:11. We haven't been. Oh boy. Guess we missed our time. Four more miles though. What? Four more miles. Auto zone in the zone. Auto zone. Beautiful. Sterling discovered. Yes, we have discovered Sterling. I don't think there's much here, though. Don't think there's much here. Another train. Oh, look at that. That's a nice one. That's a nice train. Slowing down as we come around this. Spend here with that truck back there. Come on now. I want to get through this light. Actually, we got to get over. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Chevron. Who are you going to call? I'm going to call Chevron. Do you think we're going to get the green? Be nice if we did. Nope, we don't. Nope, we do not. What we got over here? Looks like I used a car dealership. Sure we got cocktails. You want a cocktail? Come get your cocktail there. We got Logan's. Over there. Not really sure. Sure over there. Oh, we got the green. Don't mind me. We're sightseeing. Beautiful. There's our cocktail. Oh, this is all one way. One way street. Man, I recognize that. A lot of one ways too lately. They've been putting a ton of one ways in. Well, that painting. That's really cool. It's a neat painting. There we go. Beautiful. And our next right over there. Where's the homes at around here? Just over there, huh? It's a small little town. 
Not much to it yet. Oh, wow. Where are we? Where are we going here? Walmart. Are we going to Walmart? I think we are. And the Home Depot next to it. Odd. Takes up so much real estate between the two. Massive stores. That they are. All right, we'll just make sure we can get around that. All right, we're coming in. Don't mind us around here. You know, you would think with how busy these stores are that you would see more trucks coming in and out um, when you're actually visiting them in, in, in real life. In IRL. I just, I never notice trucks coming in and out of these places. You know, when I go. Which is interesting, because they're always busy, so you'd think that they would constantly need inventory coming in and going out. But... It's interesting how it all works. But here we are in Sterling. We made it. We are at the Walmart to drop off this fruit. Did not take long, so it's fresh. So make sure you come to this Walmart in Sterling, Colorado to get your fresh fruit. So, but that's going to do it for us, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching, and I catch you all next time with some more trucking with iVision. Vision. <laughs>